Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to yet another update. Uh, of course, on Mavia, all right, because what we're seeing right now is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, when I did the video, I think uh, I think we just hit 6.8 and we were falling down a bit right here, or we just found support uh, at this level around six dollars, and it still looked bullish, all right. When we when we looked at uh, when we looked at Mavia yesterday, it was still very bullish. It still is, by the way. But basically, at this moment, what you're seeing is that Mavia is is very bullish. It's been bullish for a while right now, basically since the since Thursday, it's been rallying. And at this moment that I'm making this video, there's no indication yet that it's going to stop. All right, which is uh, pretty crazy. Like this has been, I think, one of my best trades in in this year so far, because I bought right here at, uh, at 2.7 and then some more at $3. So that's that's doing great. But at this moment, even though I bought, all right, so I might be a bit biased, it still looks so bullish. I mean, if you if you, if you look at it, basically what's happening is that we're, we're just breaking above resistance levels and holding them as support uh, the entire time that's that's just a parabolic rally all right that's this is very much the, de the definition of it we're getting no bearish confirmation uh, every time we have a bit of a drop we have huge long liquidations uh, so there are a lot of people who want to short this um, or who want to long this and they're highly leveraged so that's what we had for example with a move like that it just grabs all the liquidity that's down here at the support level, like I, I don't know why you would why you would go long with such a tight liquidity, um, but still they just grabbed the liquidity and right now we're bullish again because you can see that even though we had a bit of a drop, um, now the open interest is increasing again and we're not getting that many uh, that many short liquidations either. RSI has even fallen down a bit, which is ridiculous <laughs> why that's the case, but still, um, so no, most likely still remains more upside potential now if you look at the last couple of resistance levels it's seven dollars it's eight dollars it's nine nine point five so we already talked about that yesterday but usually these newer cryptos and mavia especially at least that's that's what we're seeing right now um these cryptos tend to respect psychological levels all right so next price target in my eyes is very clearly uh, ten dollars now because we hit 9.5 right here i would i would say the the bigger level uh, or it's mo most likely that will kind of spike up to 10.5 but it is most likely in my eyes that that's going to be the most that that's going to happen all right like i said um that's basically what we've done the entire time so far since thursday um put up a resistance level then break above that and turn it into support and until the support breaks that's going to continue happening all right, so right now, most likely scenario in my eyes is that we'll break above this level right here, let's say at uh, at around 9 and 9.25. That will break above that and that will turn that into support, move up to 10.5 and $10. And then from there, we'll see again at some point of time. And that is perhaps the most important thing you need to know. At some point of time, what you'll see is that we're probably going to get some, some major liquidations and the open interest is going to fall. That's the main thing to watch, all right? Because so far we've only seen the open interest grow, momentum has only grown, volatility has only grown, etc. But at some point of time, and that could also happen right now, support level is going to break and we're going to have a pretty big crash because something like this, I think it's sustainable for now. I think if you if you look at the market cap of Mavia and the backing it has, um, something like this, this could still go on. I mean, potentially, even though I don't expect it, uh, but Mavia could go all the way up to 15 and $20. In terms of market cap, that's a possibility. Um, but but like I said, at some point of time, this will not hold anymore. The open interest will have a big drop. Uh, we'll have a bearish breakout. For example, if Mavia drops down below 7.7 .7 here, there's a chance that that's it, all right? So keep an eye on that and be careful, all right? Because a lot of people, you can already see a lot of people are getting liquidated. Um, some of you might also get liquidated if you are not careful for that. Keep an eye on those. Keep an eye on those statistics. Keep an eye on the open interest, on the volume, etc. Then you'll be fine. And like I said, for now it still seems very bullish. Um, so as long as you keep an eye on that and you you just monitor the situation for Mafia, you'll be fine. These are my thoughts. This is what you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my Signal group where I send out a signal to buy Mavia at 2.7. Uh, so if you're interested in those uh, in those new crypto buys, etc., check it out. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.